Hey, we have here today another integral from the MIT integration meeting. This was from 2022, regular season problem number 19. We have the integral of x squared sine ln x dx. Okay, the first thing I notice here is having two functions like this is going to motivate me to use integration by parts. And I think it's going to work out pretty nice. And for integration by parts, let's just look at the integration by parts formula really quick. Okay, so we have our integration by parts formula here on the board. And just notice we're going to have two parts. We're going to have this part u that we're going to want to differentiate and this part dv to integrate. And so we kind of have a little bit of a choice to make. So what I'm going to do is let's set this up with our u and our dv value. And there's a couple ways you can do this, but what I actually want to do is I'm going to do something a little unusual. I'm going to choose to integrate. My, for my dv, I'm going to choose sine ln x. What I'm going to do is write it like this, sine ln x over x. And then over here for u, I'm going to say this is x cubed. And what I've done here actually is like with the x squared, if you just write x squared as x cubed over x, you put the x under the sign, and that's how we're able to do this. And like I said, you don't really have to do it this way, but this is just gonna help me with the integration over here. You could actually, you could differentiate sine ln x, so it'll work a few different ways. Okay, and then we'll take our derivative. So for du over here, we're gonna get three x squared. Now here for our dv, we're gonna to wanna to integrate this to get our v value. And then now to integrate this, we can kind of do like a u substitution in our head if ln x is u then the derivative of ln x is gonna be one over x dx. So actually with this one over x, we have the derivative of ln x. So when I integrate this, I'm just gonna get minus cosine of u or cosine ln x. So then we'll have part of our solution right here for uv, so this is gonna be x cubed, but we'll have a minus from the cosine, so we're gonna have minus cosine ln x, then we're gonna have minus, then we're gonna be integrating our v value, which is gonna be minus cosine ln x, and then for our du, we're gonna have this three x squared dx. But because we have minus minus, these are gonna cancel, and we can write these as a plus. And I'm just gonna take my three and bring it up front here. And then from here, what we need to do is we need to integrate cosine ln x, x squared times x squared. But notice this integral right here is just so similar to what we started with, that we're just gonna do a very similar thing. We're gonna do integration by parts, and we'll set it up again. And we'll do basically the same thing. So for my u, I'm gonna make it x cubed. And for my dv, I'm gonna make this cosine ln x over x. And then here, we'll take our derivative. And again, we're gonna get three x squared. Again, like doing a substitution in our head when we integrate this, we're gonna have sine ln x. Okay, so I erased the formula, but we're using integration by parts formula. Again, we're gonna have this three outside of the integral. Then we're gonna have uv. So this is gonna be x cubed. And then we're gonna have sine ln x, then we're gonna have minus, and I'm gonna distribute this three here, and this piece is gonna be an integral. Then for our integral, we're gonna have vd, so we're gonna have our v, which is sine ln x, and then here we're gonna have this value, which is just gonna be three x squared dx. Well again, let's take this three outside the integral, and then when we multiply it by, when we multiply three by minus three, we're gonna have a minus nine here. And this is pretty nice, because what we notice here, this is actually the same thing as our original integral. We'll call our original integral i, so then this thing is i, but then this whole thing is i. So since we have minus nine i here, if I just add a plus nine here, then I'll add a plus nine i on this side of the integral as well, and this is gonna give us 10 i on the left. Now I'll, re I'll rewrite this part, I'm gonna factor out an x cubed as we have an x cubed in common, and I'm gonna rearrange it just for the minus sign, so what we're gonna have when we factor the x cubed out and we rearrange it, I'm gonna put the sine first. So I'm gonna write this as three sine ln x. And then here we're gonna have just a minus cosine ln x. But this is 10 copies of the integral, we just want one. So all I need to do here is let's just divide by 10, divide by 10, and I'll add a plus c, and that's it. So that's it, not too hard, pretty good solution. We'll stop it there. Thanks everyone for watching, have a great day.